out to FaceTime with the intended parents. Exciting. I was so excited. So I already um, FaceTimed with the mom last week and it went really good, but her husband was out of town and we just wanted to have a girl chat and then we decided to bring the guys in for an in-depth conversation just to get to know you more and see where it goes. So And to talk about the Packers. Yeah, right? They're Packers. Mutual, fans. they are. So Unless. I'm excited, which is like I'm like so nervous. I've been nervous all day and excited. I can't wait. Here it goes. We just got off the phone with um, the intended parents and it went so well. Um, we both feel really good about it. We shared stories and laughed and talked and um, I think I almost cried at one point. <laughs> um, but we feel good about it. We're both going to take the night to pray and to talk about it and then reconnect in the morning and we'll go from there. So keep you posted. All right, guys, I just dropped the kids off at preschool and I pulled up to Target because I need to kill some time which is not where you should go <laughs> when you just need to kill some time um, but it's about nine o'clock and I'm waiting on a text or a call from the intended mother after our talk last night we both agreed just to um, take some time to think about last minute things pray and we, that we would reconnect in the morning and just kind of see where we're at so I'm anxiously excited and um, just looking forward to how we will move forward. Okay guys, Target was a success. <laughs> it was probably bad that I went in there, but I did find some good stuff. Cute bath towels and look at these little stockings, $3. I'm excited to make something out of it. But I was getting back to my car and I'm like, dang, I haven't heard from her yet. And I'm like, maybe she emailed. They did, and they would like to move forward with us, and I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna look through some of the documents they sent us, and here it goes. This is our journey. I need to call Dan. I'm excited. Okay, we just finished our assessment, evaluation with our psychologist, and it went good. Turns out we're not crazy. <laughs> that we're normal. <laughs> Um, really excited to move forward and a few more steps until we make some real headway. So yeah, a couple excited. more fishing trips and Packer games and then <laughs> there's going to be a baby. So exciting. Hi. Hey Bubba, tell me what you're asking. What um, were you asking about mommy? Um, uh, baby, are you bowing now? Is the baby in my belly? Not yet. Mommy has to go to the doctor's office and then they have to put the baby in my belly. Oh, is that exciting? Yeah, and I should all my toys. Okay. Really easy. Um, and we're gonna go get some ice cream, but first I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I have a consultation with a birth center here just to get some information, kind of test the waters on some of our options. And then um, next is we are, I have a call scheduled with the doctor at the fertility clinic just to talk about the process. And then we will schedule a saline sonogram, um, check my lining. I have a pap smear scheduled. So a lot of medical stuff and a lot of appointments coming up, but I'm really excited. The process is, um, it's still slow, but it's moving and stuff is happening. So it's making it feel more real. I am looking forward to sharing on Instagram with our followers just to share the process and the excitement of joining um, the intended parents on, on creating a family. And so um, it's weird like holding the secret in because I've shared a little bit about like that we have a secret, but we haven't. I don't want to tell it just yet. We want to kind of wait for some stuff to play out. So it will be fun just to share the journey and share some prayers for the family and that we can hopefully all support this family and bring home baby together. Is the baby in my belly? Yeah. Not yet. Soon though, okay? Yeah. Sissy, what's in my belly? The baby in belly. The baby in my belly? Almost. The baby shield. It'll be soon, yes, you're right. The baby will be little, how little? Show me. Like like that little? Sissy, how, how little is the baby? Little? And who's the baby for? I don't know. Is it for, is it for somebody else? Yeah. Yeah, 
it, we're gonna give the baby to someone else, huh? Because they can't have kids, so it's gonna be their baby. Is that exciting? Is that nice? Yeah. yeah. Is that nice, Sissy? And grow up to big kids. And they're gonna grow up to be a big kid, huh? Good morning, it is October 15th and I just pulled up to our um, birth center here in our local town and I am going to have a consultation with them just to get some information. The IPs and um, I are kind of debating whether we want to do hospital birth or birth center and so we're just kind of testing the waters here, getting some information, seeing what they cover, what all they offer and so I'm excited. I have go. more updates for our surrogacy journey. So two days ago, our IPs had their evaluation with the psychologist and it went really well. Um, tomorrow we have an evaluation with her all together, just a quick 30 minute session, make sure we're all on the same page, which it sounds like we are, um, which is great. And next week I have a scheduled pap smear with my OB here in town. And then other than that, I'm waiting on a telehealth call with the intended mother's RE, which is reproductive endocrinologist, I think. <laughs> I'm learning all this terminology. Um, I have the telehealth consult with him, and after that, we can schedule my medical screening. So basically, I'm on kind of like a two week wait, not the transfer two week wait, but a different two to three week wait. So, um, still hoping things progress quickly. Um, really. The medical screening will give all of us that assurance that, hey, let's do this. Everything looks good, nothing surprising. Um, I've had my IUD in for two years, maybe two and a half. And so um, at the medical screening, the fertility doctor will remove the IUD or whoever will, um, will re remove the IUD while they do the sonogram and blood work and everything. So that's nice, I could do it kind of all in one appointment. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've had a scheduled pap smear last year, um, but to get approval from the screening that everything looks good and that I would be a good carrier for their baby just gives us that assurance. So we're all excited, hoping things continue to progress. Um, I'm sure the parents are as or like even more excited and anxious and um, impatient <laughs> as me because this is their baby and I just can't wait to continue this journey with them. So there's a little update. Can't wait to touch base and to let you know how everything goes the next couple weeks. Okay, I just got a text from the intended mother. I'm kind of like giddy because it's exciting. Um, but on the 16th of November, whenever I have my Hella health call. We just got my medical screening scheduled. So 10 a.m. on the 19th, three days later. I'm so excited. It's getting real and it feels so crazy, but also super exciting. So after that appointment, we are heading up to Wisconsin to see family. So we'll get all the all the stuff done before we head out of town. Um, the kids will be with us, so Dan will have to kind of burn their energy off somewhere, maybe go to a park or play place or the mall or something um, while I'm in my appointment, which will be a bummer because I would love him with me to hold my hand during the process, but maybe the intended mother will. We'll see. Um, or some nurses. I'll be fine. This is not the worst that I have to go through. I have many shots ahead and um, another birth, so surely I can handle some blood work saline sonogram and iud removal right you would think so but yay progress i'm excited <laughs> okay we are about a few like a minute or two away from our final session with our psychologist for our evaluation for surrogacy and this is just one more step closer to things progressing Moving forward. Yeah. Be excited. Yeah. It's going to be good. I mean, I feel like everything is well. All is well, and things are moving forward because we already have appointments scheduled and stuff. But um, we both did our individual evaluations, and then now this one's together, just like a little briefing. So should be short, sweet, to the point. But still, it's exciting. I'm, like, nervous. Yeah. Yeah, are you? Yeah. No.
think. Never. No. Yay! Here we go. Bubba, did you guys tell Aunt Jay that Mama was going to have a baby? Yeah. Yeah, what'd you say? I don't talk. It said, it said a baby belly. Now for someone else. You told her that the baby was for someone else? Bubba, did you tell her that? Yeah. The baby for someone else. You told who? Aunt Jay. You told Aunt Jay? What'd you tell her? Uh, the baby is for someone else. That the baby is for someone else? You did? Tomorrow is the day. I have my IUD removal. I'm slightly, slightly nervous because whenever they did my pap smear, they couldn't find the strings which I knew because last year when I had my pap smear, she couldn't locate the rings, but we were about to move and I was like, I'll deal with it later. And I never did. Um, but I haven't been having my period, so I know it's up there, although it does make me nervous. Hoping when my OB does the ultrasound, it's in my uterus. The strings are just kind of tucked up there. Um, so we'll see how that goes. He may have to do some local anesthesia to help with pain. Um, and hoping it doesn't hurt as much as I'm preparing for it to. <laughs> I know this is just a slight, slight pain um, compared to labor, but it's just not fun. No one likes that. So hoping that all goes, to well, goes well tomorrow. I will also start in the morning my birth control pills, which is crazy because I haven't taken those in like three years, maybe longer, four and a half. And so, yeah, it's just... Um, I'm excited to kind of get some progress made and to make some headway um, and can't wait to see the next couple of steps that we do. I'm not that bad. So this is the IUD, right? You can see the this, Oh this. yeah. So it's in. Yay! But it's, so it's in there? The, uh, we, we can should be able to get the stream. At least it's the rest cavity. Okay, that's what I'm I literally just skipped out of my OB's office because I got my IUD removed and it hurt way less than I planned for, than I anticipated, than I prepared for. Thank you, babe, for putting up with me. I I <laughs> experienced more pain than she did. And it wasn't even did. when she was feeling pain, it was when she was anticipating. I was so pain. nervous. I was so nervous. She clawed my I'm arm. Sorry. I was also praying, but you know when you like, just think it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> I prepared for the worst, so my IUD was up in my uterus, the strings weren't out of the cervix like they're supposed to, and so I'm like, dang, this thing's gonna be up there. My OB's gonna have to dig around, you stick like a mascara brush type of thing up there, and Your try OB to pull it down. Your OB is awesome though, he just straight up <laughs> he straight calls up was like, it like it is. He's like, <laughs> You're a drama you're a queen. Princess. <laughs> you're a princess. You're being a princess right now. You're a drama queen. He's you like, just like you the just attention. like you want to be a Kardashian. Yeah. So I was like, I'm so sorry. And the poor nursing student that was in there, I'm like, I apologize. You did not get to see me last round when I had my child. And so now this round, she's probably like, who is this girl? And she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, surrogacy, but I'm getting my IUD removed anyways. All went well, guys. I hoped that it would and I prayed that it would but we're one step closer and the only other thing we're waiting on now is on November 19th we head to the clinic um the intended parents clinic and we do our medical screening so that's the last piece of valid information and testing that we need just to ensure that all is well down there and that I'm a good candidate to begin this journey with the couple so here it goes a text from the intended father letting us know that they are at the fertility clinic doing an egg retrieval so we're praying everything goes well for them and we're at Lowe's getting some materials to flip an RV but I was like babe I'm craving hot Cheetos is it okay to have cravings when I'm not even fresh <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I said of course it is I have cravings all the time and I've never been pregnant so <laughs> there you go guys I do want some hot Cheetos right now though so we're hoping the egg retrieval goes well for the intended mother and just another step closer. Um, next week, like a week and two days, we have our screening. And honestly, this RV renovation is helping keep us like distracted because we are really excited. We're really looking forward to it. Um, just to like be farther along in this journey for the couple and get them closer to bringing baby home. So 
um, yeah, we're just trying to distract ourselves and get through it. That way next week we can have our screening. So we'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, so it is November, maybe 10th or 11th. I'm trying not to really focus on the date because I'm excited about the 19th when we have a medical screening um, and we are working on the RV. So honestly, like I just know what day it is. I don't know the date, <laughs> you should probably know. But um, so I just hit my first full week being on birth control. And I gotta say, the first few days were rough. I was nauseous. Um, probably for four days and just real like lethargic and tired um, and then now the emotions are kind of real strong and I have to keep things in check we both <laughs> Dan and I both are like yep this is why we got off of the pill and got onto IUD because um, I just don't do well with birth control and so he's like oh no crazy Sam is back <laughs> He's like, buckle up, guys. The roller coaster is in town. But he's been so good through it all and just helping me and helping me realize that this is just part of our journey um, for surrogacy with our with the couple. And it's for such a short period of time that I have to be on it um, that I'm just sucking it up and trying to push past it and stay strong and um, just kind of remind myself that I have to get through this in order to get to the next step and that all will be well. And I'm a sane person, that I'm normal other than emotions that I get with birth control. So I um, just wanted to share that little update with you. Other than that, um, the egg retrieval for our intended mother went really well and thankful um, that that did. And now it's just another waiting game. So if there's another update, I'll let you know. But other than that, I will touch base on Thursday when we head up to, I can't remember if I already said the location, when we head to our medical screening. So we'll stay in touch.